Okay, this is Mac Gizmo Guy, and God help me, I am back testing yet another Mac compatible webcam. This one, particular one is from HP, Hewlett Packard. And with the testing I've done already before recording this video, um, I really like it so far. As you can see, it's got really good image clarity. The color balance is fairly good. But what sets this particular webcam apart is its great light management. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black CD case and just put this in front of the lens like that and let it adapt. And when I move it back, you're going to see the camera within several seconds is going to shift from washed out back to normal lighting. It didn't even take several seconds. I'm going to do that again. Let it adapt and then move it away. And three, two, one, boom. It is back. And so this is one of the most responsive uh, light balance uh, and brightness sensitivity cameras that I have ever tested. I've seen in Logitech cams with their Right Light 2 technology works fairly well, but it tends to kind of go step, step, step through changes. And this camera just does it really smooth and really fast. The camera itself is only about $35. I did have uh, a few problems and you often have to go into your micro system preferences, microphone settings in order to adjust the USB microphones that are built into most webcams and that I was getting some little tick tick click sounds um, trying to record through QuickTime. So I'm trying a different application this time around. But so far, my impression for this camera, for about $35, it's one of the best that I've seen, and I love its ability to adapt to light. If you're like me, and you like talking with your hands, um, what you'll find is the camera sometimes sees that, it dims down, brightens up, you know, and things like that. So that's very normal for a camera. At least this one responds very rapidly. So for a fixed focus, low cost, UVC compliant webcam, so far so good. Okay, I'm now recording this with a comparably priced, about a $30, $35 Logitech cam I used yesterday. As we see this one, the color saturation is a little brighter and richer at its default settings. And um, its built-in microphone is fairly good as well. But so if this is a square rectangular thing, fixed focused with a plastic uh, lens cover, it does have a little blue LED to indicate when the camera is on and recording and a microphone. The tilt and pivot on it is pretty good. Um, I like this. It's quite stiff in that, so it's not loose and wibbly and floppy. floppy. But um, and it has a little uh, base that can swing down and clamp against the back side of your screen or laptop display. What I found is this clamp isn't particularly tight, so it's a little looser than some of the other ones I found. Otherwise, it's very standard. Cable's a little thick and heavy, and that can be a problem if the pivot isn't really strong on a webcam. Sometimes just the weight of the cable can kind of pull it down and move it just by the cable alone. So not bad. On the top of the cam, we see a couple of buttons for snapshot and recording and stopping recording. But those are usually only enabled under Windows with this particular Windows software driver that would come with a cam like this. This isn't marketed or billed as a Mac compatible webcam, but because it is UVC compliant and complies, the sensor in it complies to that standard, it is pretty much just plug and play on the Mac. So pretty decent webcam for 35 bucks. This is the best one I've tested yet and um, I'm impressed in terms of image quality, image clarity, light responsiveness, um, quite good, quite good. And a little bit better than Logitech. We could, before I sign off here, one, visit my website, maccompatiblewebcam.com for this cam and others that you may want for your Mac computer that doesn't have a built-in eyesight. Or even for people who are running like Parallels or VMware, um, a UVC cam is a smart choice because you can use it under Mac, Windows, or even Linux, as long as you're running System 10.4 or later and have USB 2.0 ports. The last little thing I'll test here is just the light adjustment of this Logitech cam. Uh, uh, uh.
okay not bad but as I've noticed it tends to be real steppy compared to this HP cam it, it was just smooth 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 and the lighting adjusted up and down a little bit faster than the Logitech one does. Alright, that's it for this episode of Mac Gizmo Guy. Bye.